Hello everyone, welcome to part 7 of Laravel 11 series in which we are creating the e-commerce website with Laravel and MongoDB and in this video we are going to insert the admin record with Cedar in MongoDB. Okay, so in the last video we have se uh, seen that we able to protect the admin routes and we have created the admin middleware and now in this video we are going to insert one record with Cedar so that we can able to log in into the admin panel so here i can show you like uh, we can't able to assess the admin routes like we can't able to assess the dashboard directly we need to log in and then only we can able to assess the dashboard and one more thing uh, one change one minor uh, uh, thing we are required to do uh, that uh, uh, we ha have left in the last video uh, just we required to update uh, one more thing in .env file and that is session driver must be file instead of database okay so make this change at your end otherwise uh, uh, login and see srf token and other things will not work okay so just update this one in dot in your dot env file only if you are doing the mongodb database okay for laravel as we are working with the mongodb database so that thing is required okay so uh, now uh, we are going to create the admin stable cedar to create the uh, admin record uh, so that uh, we can create the record in our admin stable okay uh, i'm going to open we are using the prec 11 this is our admins okay uh, so it is already having one record but uh, we are going to add once again okay i'm going to remove this one uh, okay so earlier on we have created the admin table okay so this is the admin table and i don't think that we have created any cedar file okay no there is no cedar file uh, so that cedar file we are going to create right now so that we can able to create one record for login into the admin panel and we are going to use the hash function uh, to make secure password uh, okay so uh, let's create first of all the admin stable cedar file i'm going to uh, going to my project folder zamp st docs and project 11 this is my project folder services new terminal at folder we are going to create the cedar file uh, php artisan make cedar i'm going to create admins table cedar okay so i'm going to open this file admins table cedar and here uh, i'm going to update this file uh, uh, with one record and here i'm going to use here first i'm going to include the admin model use app models admin and also i'm going to use the hash class hash so that we can able to generate the uh, secured password secured hash password that the laravel uh, used to save okay so uh, here i'm going to uh, take one variable dot password and then hash uh, make and i'm going to create a password for one two three four five six it will convert it to the hash string okay that the laravel understands and now the admin records we are going to add the admin records now here we are going to insert the admin records right now we are going to insert just one admin record just to for login and here we are going to see like in series like name see type is not required i don't think the type is required here okay uh yeah type is required for sub admins okay so that's fine name type mobile email password so what i'm going to first the name will come here we are going to start it like this name uh like name is we are going to create the admin for admin i will make it like admin okay or uh yeah admin is fine then type type is uh, admin once again okay uh, name we can make a in capitals okay admin type admin and mobile mobile any mobile number we can add like 
six one two three four five six seven eight okay so after mobile i am going to add the email email i am going to add uh, something like admin at the rate of admin.com any email you can add uh, for admin login and then the password we already generate this keyword password that we are going to use here dollar password okay then image is there image we are going to keep it empty right now later on we are going to update this image from the panel. then status finally the status will come here as active okay so this is the record that we required here and here i'm going to add add admin insert and going to add this one admin records here okay so uh, i'm going to uh, run this one i'm going to open that database cedar and here i'm going to comment this one is not required and here i'm going to call this uh, admin table cedar dollar this call admins table cedar class like this okay so now i'm going to run the php artisan db seed command to generate to insert this record okay uh, admin record in admins collection php artisan db seed okay so it has been created it has been done and now we are going to check here i'm going to refresh here from here and you can see we have generated we have inserted one record one data one document in admins collection okay so here is the secure password you can see we have the secure password as well so like this we can able to uh, insert the data with cedar and in the next video we are going to insert uh, we are going to log in into the admin panel uh, okay and and we will also log out see login and log out uh, we will make this functionality okay in the next video and also uh, uh, see uh, here we are not required any id okay so uh, we can remove the id as well okay see here uh, is no id no separate id is required just uh, here uh, just you are not required to add any id here because mongodb is having its own id column okay so no separate column for id is required okay even for the users table and the other sorry yeah for all the collections for the users collection products collections we are not going to add the id because mongodb creates its own id secured id okay so uh, in the next video we will work on the admin login and logout functionality so please stay tuned for the next video and please subscribe the channel as well as join the channel to get the complete source code whatever we have done so far and with complete support okay so uh, please open this one youtube.com stack developers this is the channel name uh, you can subscribe the channel for more laravel updates so that you will not miss any laravel update okay and also uh, you will get all the updates of this mongodb series as well and you can always join the channel if you want to get the complete source code as well as the support okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye